Hello beautiful people and welcome back to our channel. My name is Anas and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment and also each message on my Instagram. And if you are wondering again, why is that? Because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you step by step how to rank your Shopify store on Google search engine. Because I did discover on my previous video, one of my previous videos, I can't remember which anyway. I did discover a really cool website. They do drive traffic like 5,000 or 6,000 views per month only from the search results, which is completely free and organic. What I mean by organic, it's passive views. They will always get views as long as the product are live on their store. So that's free money. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically free money. So in this video, I will show you what you need to do exactly so you could rank your Shopify store on Google search engine because a lot of people focus more on advertisements on social media but they completely forget about the search engine because the search engine everyone who needs something he goes to the search engine and the conversion rate when it comes to SEO is extremely high why because potential customers are not like scrolling through videos and suddenly they got an ad about some product and if you are lucky they may be interested in that product so they click and check out the product and if you are lucky they might buy it because a lot of clicks with no sales that's really normal for dropshippers and e-commerce and brands and everyone because they might be shipping they might be pricing there may be a lot of variations why suddenly the potential customers decided not to buy the product however in google search engine people search for things when they need them and when people need things when they find them on the website they're gonna buy it because they search for it they need it just like when you go to the store you not go to the store just to look around and see if you like something no you go to the store because you need something and and if you found the thing that you are looking for in the store 100 percent you're gonna buy it that's completely logical right and the same thing applies for sao which is the search engine optimization so in this video i will show you the best example i found which is the vid as i said the, the website or the Shopify store I did find in one of my videos which is this one right here it's called 3D Stereos as I said they, they get traffic like 5,000 to 6,000 views per month only from the search result which is completely free so the first thing you need to do or focus on when it comes to search engine and to rank your Shopify store is optimize your product page and that include the, uh, the title for the product which is this one right here and also includes the URL which is this one right here and the description right here I will show you all of this right now and also the picture the picture need to have the name for the product because the Google search engine ranks the pictures on the Google when someone access Google images they rank the, the, the images based on the name of the file so when it comes to optimization it's not always about the specific product keyword but also all the keywords that are related to it are in the same niche just like he's doing right now as you can see it's not like just one keyword like five or four keywords in here and the same applies for the URL as you can see so whatever searches for 3d nylon there is a chance he will end up on this product page and whoever searches for 3d Nyon fire, fireworks he will end up on this page and the same applies for prismatic this fraction glasses and so on and also the same applies for the description let's just copy this and show you what i'm talking about copy the text and head over to a website called word counter this website uh, count words and correct the writing and all of that it does some really cool stuff so let's just paste in description for the product and as you can see so in here you should see a part where it says keyword density so keyword density are the keywords that have been repeated in this description right here so glasses has been repeated five times lights five times new three times glow three times black three times and so on anyone who searches for this keyword with this keyword glasses black and glow now he will always find this product and i didn't show you the traffic by the way let's just copy the url for the website just the name open up similar web similar web is a tool that shows you the traffic for the for any website and here we go as you can see 
And I did find this website by accident because in my videos, I don't script and I don't do stuff to set up the videos. So I only improvise and I did come across some really cool stuff, especially this website right here. As you can see, the growth is phenomenal. And if we scroll all the way down, 40% or 39% from the search. And the search keyword are products, as you can see. So this is free money, as I said. And the next part here is keyword research. So you know you're gonna sell, for example, our nylon glass or 3D firewall glasses. However, only these three keywords that may be hard to optimize for because those keywords you're gonna be competing with eBay or Amazon or big websites. So how can you uh, optimize for other keywords that's easier to rank for and to get to the search page, which is the first page on the search result. So let's just head over to the part of the keyword research. Let's just open up Google search engine and in my videos, I don't show any tools or anything like that because I know beginners are not tools friendly. Let's just say it like that. So when I access the Google search engine, let's just go for something random here. I just recorded a video, by the way, use example of snow shoes because it's really cold right now. Let's just use snow shoes. Just for example, when you type in snow shoes, do not hit enter. As you can see, here it shows you other keywords women man for dogs kids for sale for women near me uh, this is a branded keyword actually do not go for this this is branded keyword so they give you a bunch of keywords this is how you figure out keyword that's related to the same niche or the same product they all have to do with snowshoes but in different variations you need to optimize the description for all these keywords just like he did here you see what I'm saying here? You see my point? Just like he did here. He did discover those by this trick. And this is just one trick. In this video, I will show you three tricks when it comes to uh, keyword research. This is the first one. The second one, simply hit enter. After that, scroll all the way down and you will see this part. It says related searches. So Google search engine shows you what other people are searching for when it comes to snowshoes women waterproof snowshoes uh, vintage snowshoes vintage men's best snowshoes and all of that and waterproof it needs to be waterproof basically so you cannot say something that it's waterproof but it's not that's not how things work so this is the second trick to get more keywords that are related to the same product or the same niche and the third trick which is a tool actually that's completely free which is called keyword cheater right here i will put the link for it in the description box so this is completely free tool and i really like this tool i've been using it for years and it always provides what i need so in here i'm going to keep all this sample classic united states english let's just go for snowshoes yeah this is our example today snowshoes and after that click on sheet keywords and give it a moment and it will do its magic check this out it will give you hundreds and this is all based on Google recommendation. What other people are looking for. Let's just stop this. As you can see here, snowshoes horses. I didn't know that. <laughs> you can actually snowshoes hiking, girl grip, snowshoes grip, which is the grip that you uh, you can attach to the the bottom of the of the shoe. As you can see, for kids, for boys, for hiking again. So this is all keywords that you can actually go for and optimize your description just like he did here. So you can get more chance of Google search engine ranking your website on the first result. So whoever searches for one of these, there is a chance he might end up on the website. And as I said, conversion rate is extremely high because people are searching for stuff to buy it, not just because to check it out. There is people who will search for things just to check it out, but that's a really small percentage. That's why I said the conversion rate will be really high. And this tool, which is Keyword Cheater, I will put the link for it in the description box. And right now, let's just get to the next step, which is writing blogs. And this might not be for everyone because writing blogs is a skill. You can, not everyone can write blogs correctly and most importantly, optimize those keywords. And by the way, for the description, you need to find a way to say or write description correctly without too many keywords you need to keep them like this between seven percent and four percent otherwise it might count as spamming so that's not good for you so as i said blogging might not be for everyone not everyone can write blogs correctly and so on but however with help of tools you can actually do that like 
Grammarly. Grammarly is an extension that can help you uh, correct the writing and so on. And for the writing, for the lazy people, there is actually tools like uh, like Jasper. Jasper is a is a tool. Here is IA copyright. It's actually a bot or IA bot. They call it. everything is IA now. <laughs> so it's a bot that you give it just the 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 subject for the blog, and he will write it for you. And it's really good actually. It, it's not detectable at all. So it's really good. And the pricing, I can't remember the pricing, what is it for it? And not just one, there is actually Surfer. There is a, a tool called Surfer, Surfer 2, Surfer SAU. Yeah. yeah, this is another tool that will help you write blogs. You just give it a subject and it will write the blog for you. The pricing for this one is start basic from 49 per month. And this one is 100,000 words per month for $82. And right now, content optimization. So I said you need to optimize, but how you can do that? So in here, I have a store. I'm going to add a product. So let's just click on add your product. I'll just name it short, long, sleeve, t-shirt. Yeah, that does not exist. But anyway, this is just for demonstration. In here, I'm going to type in description like this. Shouldn't change. Blah, blah, blah. Because you need to keep description short and also most importantly have to do with the product. You cannot just spam keywords in here. So in here you're gonna type in description that has to do actually with the product. You can write it like a long paragraph and have all the keywords you can optimize for. And this should be optimized not for SAU. This should be optimized for the customer. So so you can have higher conversion rate obviously at the end of the day you are selling a product not providing information so you need to keep things short and on point and after that and if you remember as i said make sure to name the pictures as the profile name and that will really help you get discovered more on google images and here this part is tags this is really important make sure to type in tags or keywords that we did find in here to include them as tags in here and you do not add like a bunch of tags only a couple and after that if we scroll all the way down to the page you will see this called search engine listing and this is the important part so click on edit and we go into edit this for SAU for the search engine for example we did use uh, snowshoes so I'm going to go for uh, snow shoes what's the th the first thing they did recommend for women for men let's just keep it for men for men and what else what else what else on she slip okay we're going to add on she slip and what else black okay let's just keep it short just for demonstration so right now we did optimize for three other keywords that are related to snowshoes. So whoever searches for this, there is a chance we end up in the first result. And the description, and this is when you need to type in a description that, uh, that's uh, optimized for this keyword that we did add. And in here, this will change. Just this will change anytime, anywhere, without worrying about the real product description i'll show you what i'm talking about and also the url here also needs to be optimized we need to target for snowshoes for men on to slip and black do you like this maybe add the, the dashes here here we go so the title the page title is optimized for the keywords that we want to target the same description and the same for the url handler let's just hit save i don't know what happened the page got reloaded after i hit so let's just type in again the things I did type in. Yeah, this is the, the hard part of making videos for you guys. So as I said, we did optimize the page for the search engine with the URL handler. As you can see, this is how it will look like on the search engine. We did optimize it and also description. This needs to be optimized. I just trying to show you, but something happened in the reload page. I don't know what, what, what's wrong with Shopify now. Anyway, this will be optimized based on the keywords as well. But if we hit save, this will not change the, the real description of the product page. This is only how Google will show the website. With this, we did Shopify will tell Google search engine, this is how you show the website and this is what the page is optimized for. So this is a really important step.
when you come when it comes to ranking your Shopify store on Google search engine so make sure to use this tool for a search engine listing and the second trick is yes there is a lot of tricks because SEO is is not easy not for everyone that's why not that many people focus on so on Google search engine there is something called search engine console is a, a platform where website owners or webmasters they add their website so you can click on start now and add your Shopify store to the search console so this way you force Google search engine to crawl your website and check what keywords are optimized for and what are not so it will rank your website correctly and the last tip or the last trick is to rank your uh, Shopify store and Google search engine is backlinks and this is not for everyone backlinks can be tricky because backlinks can either make or break your Shopify store or any website Backlinks can result in your permanently banning from the search result or can uh, rise you to the first page of the search result. That's why backlinks, uh, you need to wait for other videos. I will do uh, more videos about that in depth or check out other channels or videos. There is a lot of information about backlinks. The personal trick I do use personally is I do contact uh, website owners. Uh, directly without using any Fiverr gigs or anything like that. I do not use this. Uh, I, as I said, I contact website owners. I did, I do research and I find websites or blogs that are related to my niche and I contact the webmaster or the admin uh, for a guest post or uh, maybe he makes a post and he makes a mention of my website and I paid. We go, we negotiate about a price and we go for it. The last time I did this, like uh, the last month, the previous month, uh, it cost me like uh, 70, 75, 75 dollars. Cost me like 75 dollars for a backlink or website clean website doesn't have any other backlinks, and uh, it's a ghost post, not just a backlink and somewhere. And it has a decent DA uh, and PA, like uh, I can't remember 35 or 40. And DA or PA stands for Domain Authority and Page Authority. And that's a whole different subject you need to wait for it in the future I will go on that in depth as I said otherwise in this video I think my job is done and if you guys have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me otherwise I think my job is done and thanks for watching and catch you on the next one